Hello guys, welcome to the channel IT Simplified and today I'm here to discuss about managed disk and why you should use uh, moving forward. Uh, but before I do that, uh, let me show you how the experience is nowadays when you want to create a virtual machine or you want to spend any server in Azure environment. So let me pick VM from my subscription. Just for this demonstration's sake, I'll pick a 2016 data center edition and click on create. Just fill up the basic information. Pick any disk type. And this is the thing which I want to show you. So as you can see under the storage, now moving forward, and since they have introduced managed disk, by default, uh, it gives you the option of, uh, uh, by default, yes, it's selected for managed disk. It means that uh, Microsoft wants you uh, to use the managed disk moving forward and I will tell you the reason why that is but if you want you can go to no and you can uh, use the unmanaged disk so as you can see when I select the no button it asks me to create the storage account and that is the big differentiator uh, between managed and an unmanaged disk is that when you select managed disk Azure takes care of creating the storage accounts and everything that is all taken in the background for you so uh, by default, yes, is selected, and uh, we will look into why that is the case and why you should use the managed disk. So I hope that is clear. Uh, moving forward now, you should use uh, ma managed disk. Now, in order to further explain this one, let me just explain you. And one of the reason uh, of uh, uh, using the managed disk versus uh, unmanaged disk is the scalability. So scalability is the option. So if you select um, uh, unmanaged disk, uh, it is not scalable. So it means that you can have uh, that many VM disks only in the in the storage account, and there is a limit of I think 20,000 IOPS uh, uh, within the within the storage account. So that is a big drawback when you're using the unmanaged. Uh, disk versus uh, managed disk and with managed disk it's highly scalable because you can have almost I think uh, 10,000 uh, VMs per subscription so that that's a great add-on so scalability is one of the reason why you want to go with the unmanaged disk versus uh, you want to go with the managed disk versus an unmanaged disk the other important uh, uh, reason why you want to select a managed disk is so say if you have an availability set. Now, if, you, if you're not sure about availability disk, I will recommend please watch my previous videos in which I have given, uh, I made detailed videos on what availability disk and why you should use it. But in nutshell, it is to make sure that your business is highly available and you don't experience downtime. But what can happen is in case you're using unmanaged disk and you have a say two VMs within the uh, availability uh, in the availability uh, uh, sets I'm sorry this I'm talking about availability set so you have to create a storage account uh, and if you want to put on a separate storage account say use for example you created two storage accounts storage of account one and two for VM one and VM two respectively but what can happen in the background is that your storage account can fall under the same storage unit uh, uh, when we're talking about the unmanaged disk. So in case one of your storage account goes down, it can take the whole storage unit. So whole idea of availability uh, sets is, uh, is uh, gone, right? So you can see that uh, it is not good from the business continuity point of view. Now, when we're talking about the managed disk, 
uh, the beauty about the managed risk is that taking the same scenario if I have availability set in which I have two VMs VM1 and VM2 it will make sure that uh, your uh, managed disk create a separate storage uh, unit for both of them right that is the whole idea of the availability set but it will make sure that it will have a separate storage unit for you so even in case one of the storage unit goes down your another storage unit is up and running and uh, the traffic will be automatically diverted towards that so your business is always up and running depending upon how many uh, VMs you have in your uh, availability set. That's another reason and one of the very important reasons why you will use uh, managed disk versus unmanaged. And the third reason uh, of selecting managed disk over uh, unmanaged disk is that you know that in unmanaged disk there was no idea about the snapshotting technology right so you cannot take snapshot in unmanaged disk uh, but with a managed disk what you can do is you can take create a snapshot uh, and uh, in case you delete that uh, uh, disk uh, you can roll back to the uh, point in time and you can spin up those uh, disks that you have uh, deleted so another great reason and from the backup point of view uh, that's a great enhancement that uh, uh, managed disk provides you over uh, unmanaged disk. So three reasons just to reiterate. One is the scalability. Uh, uh, you will use uh, managed disk. Second one is in case you want to make sure that uh, your business is always up and running, it will uh, give you the option of uh, putting the creating a separate storage unit. So in case one of the disks goes down, the other one is always up and running. And the third reason is the snapshot uh, why you will use a uh, managed disk or an unmanaged disk. Now I hope that clears some of the doubts. And in the future, I'll create a few more videos on the same topic. But for the time being, thanks for watching. Have a good day.